Welcome friends from around the world. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a moving magnifying glass that magnifies or enlarges anything it moves over. Here's an example. Notice how anything in the path of the magnifying glass is enlarged. Also, I'm using Microsoft 365. Okay, our first step is to insert a slide. So we're going to click on the slide and go up to Layout, change it to a blank slide. Next step is to insert a picture. Now normally you'd come up here and you'd select Insert Picture and you'd insert a picture from this device such as this assembly line picture. But we're not going to do that. The reason being is it's too easy to click on that picture once it's in there and move it around. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Design. We're going to go over to Format Background Go down to the Format Background menu, select Picture Texture Fill, go over to Picture Source, Insert, go from File, click on the assembly line picture again, and put it in. Go back to Home. The nice thing about this is the fact that we cannot click on that picture, and we can't accidentally move it. So now the next step is to insert the magnifying glass. And so we're going to go up to Insert Picture, this device. Select the magnifying glass, insert it. And we're going to bring it down. Let's close the design ideas. We're going to go over here and we're going to move that magnifying glass off the main slide because that's where we're going to start. It's right about there. And then we're going to have it come in and go to our selected area. We're going to also close the uh, format background for a moment. We're going to go back up. We're going to select the uh, picture. The picture we're going to use is the same one we have as a background. This will be the picture that we will crop. So now we have that picture in place. Now what we might want to do is to select the arrow right over here which will bring us over to format picture again and we're going to Select the size of 300% increase. I'm going to hit Tab. that will scale it to the other size. And now we have our picture at 300%. So we're going to reduce things down here. And we're going to bring that picture up. And kind of center it on our page. Our next step is to crop the image. So we have the picture selected. We go up to Picture Format. Over on the right hand side is crop. We're going to crop it to a circle, a shape. So we go to the crop with the arrow, we go down to crop shape, select oval, and now we have an oval shape. We want a circle. And all we have to do is go back up to that crop arrow again, go down to aspect ratio, select one to one, and now we have our circle. So now what we want to do is we want to bring that down to our magnifying glass, make it the same size. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and crop it, and we're going to downsize it to about the size of our magnifying glass. And we're going to come in here and um, get a little closer view of the thing. And I'm doing a shift as I select that edge. And I'm going to just shift right over here on this side and bring it up. And we see we're kind of lined up here. It needs to be a hair smaller. And looks like we're about there. Yep. And we're going to do it a little smaller. Okay, now we notice we're kind of off on one side. The magnifying glass is not truly round. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch on the corners. We're going to bring it in a little bit so it does fit. Okay. Now, how do we control these layers? How do I go back now and select the magnifying glass or select the object itself and have control over those layers? The way we can do that is we can go close our one menu and the way we can do is we can go over to the selection pane and click on that and that will bring up 
our layers. And if you see, we have two photos, one here, and the other photo is the magnifying glass. And we're gonna actually name that so we can know which one's which. Oop, if I spell it right. We'll call it magnifying. And so now we know exactly what we got. I can actually now move that magnifying glass on top so that now the magnifying glass border shows up all the way around. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the wider view. And now we're going to actually, if you notice since our, our picture here, we are not magnified. We're small. In fact, smaller than this image. So what we have to do is we have to go back up to crop, hit crop, and now we see our sh our shape right here, and we got to bring it up to about 300% again. If we want to be accurate, we can still go back in to our view under the size, and you see we're pretty close. 300, tab 300. Oop, excuse me. Tab. And you can see now we're back at 300. We're also pretty well lined up. You can see the dots line up to the zeros. And right here, it's lined up to zero. So we're about really lined up back where we should be. And we now see our image here is magnified. And that's what we want. So now we have our first image. We now want to duplicate our slides. So we're going to go up and make sure we have slide selected. Right click, come down to duplicate slide. And now we have a duplicate. We're on slide number two. Now we want to take the magnifying glass and our cropped image and we want to move it up here to where the welding is taking place. Now what we do is we have to select both items. It's one advantage of working with layers. I did that, by the way, I was able to select both items by hitting the first item, then doing control, and then hitting the second item. Now I'm gonna move them up to where it's pretty much in the ballpark or where it needs to be. And I can just kind of line it up. And actually I'm gonna bring it down just a hair. So it's right about there. Okay, now what we need to do is to select our picture. So once again, because of the layers, we are able to do that. Select just the picture. We're going to go back up to format picture. We're going to go up to crop. We're going to, we're now going to crop the image. If you notice our image that's magnified is, has moved. And what we want to do is we want to move it down to where we can see where the weld is. That's our target right there, where the weld is. Don't worry about trying to line this up with everything, because if you do, you're not gonna actually hit your target. You wanna move it around where you see it inside of the magnifying glass, so you can see the weld right there. And there's enough space there, it's gonna cover up any flaws. Now we're gonna hit crop. Now if you notice, we are magnified, okay? The next step is really quite simple. All we do is go up to transition. We're still on our second slide. Go up to transition, go up to morph, hit morph, and guess what? We now have a moving magnifying glass. If we go into a presentation view and we go up a slide and go down a slide, we can see everything magnifies as it goes across. Our final step is to move this magnifying glass down to this motor. And so we're going to click on the second slide. We're going to duplicate the slide. We're now in the duplicate slide. We're going to now go up and select under layers. We're going to select both images. We're going to move them down to where that motor is, about right there. And now we're going to go up to picture format. I'm going to go up to crop. I'm going to crop our picture again. Oop. First I've got to deselect. Select just the picture. And crop it. And now we have the cropped image picture. We're going to slide the 
AMH over until we get to the motor we're after, which is right there. And we're going to hit crop again. And now we have our magnified image. We're going to go back up to make sure we're in slide number three. We're now going to go up to transitions. We're going to go to morph. And guess what? There's our second step. Let's see how the whole thing works out. We're going to go to, to our first slide. Go to presentation view. Come down. Our first item, the weld. We could talk about it. Move over to the motor. Talk about it. Go back up to the weld. Talk about that a little bit more. And back to the motor. Back to the weld. Back off screen. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And please subscribe. We'll see you at the next tutorial.